Hello, I'd like to introduce you to two exciting new enhancements to the Mitotoyo lineup. The first enhancement is to our IDC and F model indicators. Not only do these indicators have a larger LCD, analog bar readout, higher resolution, and for the F model, higher accuracy, we can also program information into the indicators and we also support two-way communication. The second enhancement is in MeasureLink 10.2 where we can read and write to these gauges to make data collection even easier. Let's take a look. Here we are in MeasureLink real time where we want to collect some data from these two indicators. Well, first thing we need to do is turn these indicators on. You'll notice that we have three different power buttons here. Two for the individual gauges that I have connected and then a master power on where I can turn them both on. As you can see, they're not reading you know, where I might want them to be. So if I want to zero, I can go ahead and zero all, or I can zero individually like you see here. So we have duplicate controls for controlling all gauges or each individual one. I can also set my presets from MeasureLink as well using the preset all function. If my presets aren't where they should be, I can go ahead and change my preset values by going down here. And notice that my gauge preset built in is 1.6 and 2.4, but I can change over here. Maybe I want it to be 1.5 and 2.5. And when I press OK and I preset all these gauges, it's gonna send that information to the gauge. And so now it's built in. Now we can see that our gauges are preset to exactly where we want them to be. I'll go ahead and press close. And now I can start taking some measurements. The values are changing. When I'm ready to take a measurement, of course, I can go ahead and hit the data buttons on the gauges themselves, but that's no fun. Maybe these gauges are somewhere where I can't access them, or maybe I have more than just two and I want to capture the data from, from all of them. Well, I can do what's called a pull all function where I can uh, extract the data from each of the gauges simultaneously using this pull. I can also collect data using the spacebar. So if I hit the spacebar, it's gonna be collecting the data for each of them as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. I actually have an out of spec point here and I can hit the data and we can see that out of spec point comes up. It shows red on the display of the indicator. It'll show a red border instead of measure link. And we can of course program in alerts and different conditions if things go out of spec. Let's go back to that gauge control and look at a couple more things here. I can look at the individual gauge properties as well. So this is my first dimension gauge. If I open this up, I can start to look at what is the gauge serial number? What's the model number? What is the preset value that's built into it? And maybe what's perhaps most important is that we can actually store calibration information inside the gauges and we can see when gauges were last calibrated and when they're due next. We can also extract some of this information that we see here inside of our gauge management module where we can track our due dates. Now I also have a peak reset function. So if I'm gonna put these indicators in let's say a TIR mode and I wanna get them down to zero, I can hit peak reset and that changes them. I can hit close and then I can start to spin my part or move my indicators or whatever the case is. And then I can start to collect this data like that. After I collect my data, I may wanna uh, reset them again, open up my gauge control and reset. Now this type of communication, this bi-directional communication is really only gonna be possible if you're using our new S1 supported cable. So the technology behind all of this is called S1. We can see here, on our USB input tool, um, it's gonna be branded with the S1. So we have the input tools, we have the direct cables as well, where there's not a button we can interface with, it's direct to USB. So you, using either of those cables, we can control our gauges with MeasureLink with these new IDC and F model indicators. Zeroing, presetting, peak resetting and extracting critical gauge information has never been easier with MeasureLink and our new IDC and F model indicators. 
For more information, please visit our website, midatoyo.com, or reach out to your local Midatoyo distributor or local Midatoyo rep.